What is the importance of why people should be checking the server logs? This page has been visited once by the Google bot today. But actually when you load it up in server logs, it might have been visited 53 times today. And this is on one of my cleanest sites. But obviously day to day isn't giving you a full picture. I was absolutely amazed. There was thousands of errors. Server log analysis. Today I'm joined with the founder of Search Roo, Carl Hudson, and it's an interesting topic to talk about server logs because the amount of people nowadays I'm speaking to that don't actually check the server logs yet actually tell me that they do technical audits, it's pretty scary. So Carl, explain to me a little bit more of what is the importance of why people should be checking the server logs. Yeah, so the server logs are also known as server access logs or access logs, depending on what web host you're using. And what that's uh, doing is grabbing all the data from basically any request to the server. So it's, you know, it's it can be any, it'll grab any IPs, grab any referrers, all of this and any bots and all of that. It'll grab all of that and save it into a log file, essentially. And that's what you're then you should be opening up an order. Now, a lot of people will go, oh, well, I just use, well, I say a lot of people. I guarantee it's not a lot of people. I just use the crawl stats in um, Search Console. Now, the problem with that is Search Console is like a truncated data set in the sense that it's only going to say that this page has been visited once by the Google bot today. But actually, when you load it up in server logs, it might have been visited 53 times today and it's not also showing any other bots. It's only showing how the Google bot interacts. Now, obviously, when it comes to search engine optimization, it's all about the different search engines, not just how Google bots interact. And, and especially with AI and AI overviews now, you kind of want to be looking at the other bots and how they're visiting the website. You know, are they getting stuck within certain aspects of the website? Um, and that's why like server log analysis is one of the fundamental pillars, if I'm being honest, when it comes to technical SEO. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy with regards to, I never, I used to think that my team was advanced by running screaming frog audits, deep crawl audits, site bulb audits, and I'm checking like the, the click depth and making certain there's no 404s and 301s. And I remember one time I had a, a big, it was a pretty big site as well. And then I had someone come along and run me a server log analysis. And in Screaming Frog, it had zero errors. So I'm thinking this site is clean, the cleanest site that you can have. And I'm thinking that, all right, if you're that good at technical SEO that you say you are, and you're going to run this server log analysis, go on, then run it on this site and let's see what you can do. And I was absolutely, and this is on one of my cleanest sites, I was absolutely amazed. There was thousands of errors. And some of these errors was like, why is Googlebot crawling this URL? This URL's not been on my site for 18 months. It's a 404 page. It's not being linked to in any way, shape, or form. But Google keeps coming back and crawling that page. And I never would have found it because, like, when I'm, when I'm doing it in Screaming Frog, Screaming Frog's not crawling it, but Googlebot was. So then at that point, the minute I 410 that URL, because it had no link juice and stuff like that. The minute I 410 it, my crawl budget then was then being allocated in a different part of the site and crawling it. And my, a whole new category in Hub, which was struggling for rankings, then started being crawled so much more. Literally a week later, I'm starting to see more impressions show up and then more clicks come. And I'm like, wow, this is impressive. Like, And this is for someone that was checking the site on a weekly basis using these other tools. But... My question to you is, a bit of a, a pain point for me is, every time we speak to a potential client who we're speaking to about link building and we're trying to go above and beyond in trying to help them out to say, right, let's see how your internal linking and technically how your site is built because we want to make certain you're getting best bang for your buck for the links that are being built. But there always seems to be a problem where these people don't have the server logs how, how many months worth of server logs do you think that they should be saving and should they be setting this up now today, even if they're not even intending to do a server log analysis for a while? Should they just, surely just by default, they should have the server logs being saved? 
Uh, most web hosts, if they do, like especially when they're shared hosting, they'll usually only allow you to save like one or two days just so they can save on space. Um, and then it gets overwrote. So it's a, a prime example of this is a site we've been doing recently where we've had to actually create a cron job, which will move the the log three minutes before the end of the day when the new one starts getting generated to a specific folder. So then, and then it truncates it by date. So obviously the role date ordered. Um, and that's one way of getting around that on a shared host. And obviously in time that'll build up. So in terms of how long should you have your server logs saved for when it comes to being you know, efficient at doing server log analysis, I would say around six months is probably the sweet spot. Um, because yes, you can do day-to-day -day analysis, but obviously day-to-day -day isn't giving you a full picture. If you expand that out over six months, you might find areas of the website that like Google's just keeps visiting. And it could be an area of your website that you literally don't even care about. You don't really want it to visit that area. But what you can then do is you can go, right, well, how can I improve this area of the website? Google keeps visiting it for certain reasons. You know, how many internal links are coming out of that section to the, the sections I want it to look at? Because if it keeps on hitting these pages, you want the internal links there to help push the crawler through to the other pages. And again, that, that, that allows you to dig a little bit deeper into the, the server logs themselves and figure out, you know, almost like... Um, you mentioned it earlier, you know, when it comes to like crawl depth and things, this is almost like a crawl depth, but instead you're actually seeing where the bot is crawling and then con helping control what it is seeing from the actual logger aspect. Yeah, for sure. So obviously on that there, when you're saying you're running a cron job every two days to save the data, and hopefully then you're going to build it up to get six months. Surely if someone can get, let's say, a week, two weeks, a month, two months, they should just get whatever the maximum is that they can get and then save it. So they're not having to run that cron job. It's just pre-saved. And hopefully they've got, let's say, a month's worth and you just need to get six six kind of documents of it. Or even if it's two months, you'll need them three documents of it. It's enough data then to start looking at it. And then it's just... It's something that's free that once you've got that report, you can just go and fix it. And you get the content starts to become better. The, the, the way Googlebot's crawling the site in the fact that I'm going to make the context not better, but I mean, like, it's been you internal linking it to better parts of your site. Googlebot's crawling the most important pages, your link juice that's being distributed throughout the site. It could be that certain categories are not being crawled enough that you might need more external links to. So it means that from a link building point of view, when you're doing a backlink audit, instead of just shooting blind and going, oh, you need more links to this this page or to this the, to the home page, it might be to certain category pages that saying the server logs are not crawling this enough. Yeah. We've done everything we can via internal linking. You actually just need to start tapping a few links to this section of the site if it's an important part of your site. So... For so many reasons, I just feel like people don't talk enough about server log analysis and the importance of why people should be looking at the server logs. That's actually like a really important point that we hadn't even touched on either is the fact that, you know, you, you might see that your crawl stats are actually really low for a certain aspect of the website. And it could just be when you start looking into the aspect, say, oh, sh shit, I haven't actually built a link to this, this part of the website. I wonder, and this is where you can literally see the difference between a good link and a bad link, because when you start building links or you build a couple of links to a certain section, if your crawl rate isn't increasing within your server logs within you know a week or two, you're not seeing crawlers revisiting that section more often, then chances are those links you've built are probably pretty bad. Yeah, because um, I mean, you just touched on a great point there. Like so many people think the build a link and then rankings are going to increase, click, clicks are going to inc inc increase, and impressions are going to increase. But actually, where it actually starts from is Google bot activity to that section. Yeah. So if it's giving more Google bot activity, you know that it's a good link. If it's not, then it's not a good link. But if it's giving more Google bot activity, normally it starts off with Google bot activity, more impressions, more clicks, more sales or more inquiries or whatever it is that your CTA is. But generally speaking, you should be able to check whether a link is good or bad via Google bot activity coming through to it. And no one really checks that. They're just checking, oh, it's not improved in rankings. Well, there might be position number 
three, and position number one and two might be so far ahead of them that they need 40, 50 links to improve that page specifically for a big keyword. But as, the, as long as they know Googlebot's crawling it more, they start starting moving closer and closer to position number two. And they're knowing, okay, these links are, are doing well. Do you know what I mean? Well, another important point that you just sort of touched on there as well is if the crawlers are revisiting the, if within the server logs, the crawlers are now revisiting that section more often after you've placed those links and you're not seeing impressions increase and you're not seeing clicks increase, well, that actually tells you something else. That says, right, there's something fundamentally wrong with this page that Google doesn't like. It's not increasing me impressions, not improving me clicks, right? Let's look at the page. Let's look at the content. Let's look at the weight of the page, you know, and see if we can help solve this issue. A lot of the time, I know Core is a huge advocate of um, reducing the cost of retrieval. Now, it could be this page is just far too big for the search engine, as in it's costing that too much money to retrieve this page each time. So it's just, it's not helping, it's harming. So that's when you, you know, you have to use the, your knowledge at that point and make the best decision you can um, and then move forward from there. So yeah, server log analysis is absolutely vital for when it comes to SEO and ranking. So anyone watching this, do you check your server logs regularly? Are you doing a server log analysis? Do you even know what server logs are? Leave a comment in the comment section. There's actually a link in the description as well where we're providing you with a free server log analysis. If you've got six months worth of server log data, we're providing you with a free server log analysis to see exactly what parts of your site might be lacking in backlinks, might be lacking in that the fact they're struggling to get to other parts of the site or these critical errors that need sorting as soon as possible. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section with regards to server log analysis.